Money saving Mondays. Nearly 80% of parents say they pay their child an allowance, according to a T. Rowe Price survey. So should you be paying your kids an allowance? And if so, how much? And what do they need to do to earn it? Craig Bolanos, co-founder and CEO of Wealth Management Group, joins us live. Craig, good morning. Yes, good morning. What a great topic, kids and money. Yeah, I, I'm curious about this. Uh, so apparently just because many parents give their kids an allowance, it doesn't mean everybody should. You know what, no, because you know, giving our kids an allowance is really a lesson in life about being responsible with money. And I would just say the obvious, before we start setting up a system for the kids to earn an allowance for a commission, we need to know that they are constantly watching and we should just be a great steward of our own treasure because that'll be the most important lesson in life, meaning what they see from mom and dad's everyday actions. So Craig, what if you are financially ready to start paying your kids an allowance? When do you start? How old should the kid be? Well, you know, I usually say uh, it's never too young to start, but in this case, no. I don't think we should be paying the allowance to the kids until they hit kindergarten at the earliest. And then once the kids get a part-time job, that first part-time job, it's probably a great opportunity to transition. So those would be the age brackets that I would use. Okay, and then how much do you give? Now, there's so many rules of thumb. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Craig, where'd you go? Where'd you go? So how much? Let's see if we can get Craig back. I'm here oh, and I can hi. see you. Can you there hear you, me? I hear you now. Let's start again. How much should you be giving your child an allowance if you choose to do so? Let's pay them one to two dollars a week times their age. So if your child's 10, they're gonna earn between 10 and 20 dollars a week. If your child's 12, that's 12 to 24 dollars per week. That sounds reasonable to me, but our floor director is shaking her head at me. Do, do, Cottery, do you think it should be higher or lower? Higher. She says higher. higher. Interesting. I disagree. <laughs> and then, should your children work to earn their allowance? You know what, that one I say yes, and the reason it's a definitive yes, I even like to phrase it differently, Tanya. I don't like to refer to it as an allowance. I like to refer to it as a commission because the reality is I want to link doing chores and doing work with earning money. I think that's the real value proposition in this allowance is that you don't just get something for free. You have to do and perform an action. You have to put good into your family's household. You got to do some work in order to get paid. Okay. And then how do you pay them? Should it be cash? Should it, you know, should it be a digital piggy bank? Ooh, digital pick. You know what? Why don't we do this? I'm going to tell you what we did with our two boys. When they were young, I'm talking five to eight, we put all the money in a translucent jar because they just wanted to see the mm. jar get full. And then from there, I think it's a matter of paying them in cash. Even though we seem to live in a cashless society, paying them cash. And then from there, making sure that they actually have a savings account in a bank so they can make a deposit process of withdrawal. Now we're linking money with work and creating basic life skills. I think that's the full circle when it comes to our kids and money. And a lot of banks have first accounts for children that allow you to do just that. Craig Bolanos, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Appreciate your advice here. Good to be with you. All right. See you soon.